Hello class 6. The topic for the day today is of course simple machines. Alright. But uh, the three types of simple machines that we are going to define, I mean discuss today is inclined plane, wedge and a screw. Okay. Now you can see their respective pictures by this, you know, beside the names. So, what is an inclined plane? All these are simple machines, mind you. So, inclined plane is a simple machine which is used to, you know, uh, take a heavy thing, say for example, from a lower point to a higher point. Okay? Like for example, your father's scooter. Now, this here, say for example, is the door to your house. Alright? Now, and your father has brought his, brought his scooter. Now, I don't know how to draw a scooter. Okay, see, this is the scooter of your father. Okay, with its handle, of course. Okay, now this scooter is to be taken to this point. Now, what do we do? We can't simply carry the scooter, or it could also be our car. Okay, we can't simply lift the car up and put it inside the house. Okay, or take to or lift it up by, you know, ourselves and take it to a higher point. So what we do is, we take the help of an inclined plane. Now if we have an inclined plane, by simply rolling the car or the scooter, you know, or the bike, on top of this inclined plane, it can easily be taken to this point. Okay, so this is like the scooter or your father's car, all right, and it's been taken up to this point. Okay, so this is how inclined plane helps. Alright. <clears throat> now, the other kind of inclined plane, so to say, that also is an inclined plane. It is, so to say, a double inclined plane, you can see. A wedge is a double inclined plane. Why? Because both of these two sides are inclined. No matter how big or how small the double inclined plane or the wedge be, okay? If we have two inclined planes like this, one inclined plane here, one inclined plane here, okay? That kind of a shape is what is called a wedge and wedge also is a simple machine. Because wedge will have a sharp or pointed end over here and this pointed end can be used to cut into, you know, different bodies. Like for example, like for example, we okay, this chopper here is a simple machine. I mean, of course, a simple machine. It is an example of a wedge. A knife here is an example of a wedge because it has sharp end here. Okay, and then after it goes on, the size goes on increasing. Likewise for a chopper. A better example would be. I have a very old and you know a rusty axe over here, a small one of course. This is the sharp pointed end and you can see this is an inclined plane, this is an inclined plane, double inclined plane, alright there but this shape is a wedge. And a simple machine which is called a wedge is used to cut into different bodies, alright. Also, also, just to give you an example of a wedge, I have this rod over here, which is used to dig. Alright, now this shape over here. Okay, here is one inclined plane, here is one inclined plane, and this is the sharper end. Okay, so this shape is what is called a wedge. The shape is what is called a wedge in number. Also, if we take the example of a screwdriver, this end of the screwdriver. Okay, which is used to drive screws inside. Okay, this end is what is called the wedge. This shape is what is called the wedge. It of course is a simple machine. So I have the small, you know, wedge shaped tile over here. So you can see there's an inclined plane, there's an inclined plane. You have a sharper end. This shape is what is called a wedge plane. Okay. And finally, a screw. You almost have seen a screw, of course, okay? It looks like a nail, but a nail is hammered by a hammer and it digs into and it gets inside a wooden board, say for example, okay, or a wooden block. Whereas a screw, although it has a pointed end, it looks like a nail, 
but this is not hammered. Okay, a screw is not hammered. In fact, you have a groove over here, all right, and you use a screwdriver to drive that screw inside maybe a wooden board or a wall. Okay, so a screw is not hammered, mind you. It is, so to say, rotated. When the screw is rotated, what happens is it nicely gets inside. Okay, let me also show you a screw. So this is a screw we have. You can see it, you can see it has grooves like this. These grooves are called threads. Alright, these grooves are called thread and it of course has a pointed end. Alright, so a screw is not driven in by a hammer or it is not hammered. It is, at this end of course we are going to use a screwdriver. So if it's like this, alright. And we use a screwdriver to rotate it like this. And you can see it's going inside. So this is how a screw gets inside. The screwdriver is used to rotate it, mind you. Right now I'm using my right hand to rotate it, but a screwdriver is used to rotate it. And you can see how nice and easily the screwdriver gets inside. It of course is possible because of the grooves, remember. Okay, so a screw also is a simple machine. So class six, in this topic, simple machines, we discussed about uh, different kinds of simple machines like Levers. Levers were of different kinds. First class lever, second class lever, third class lever. Okay, we discussed about pulleys. Okay, we discussed about a wheel and axle. And of course, inclined plane, wedge and screw. There are so many other kinds of simple machines, of course, also. Okay, now do remember, since machines, what do kind of a machine be? What are the kind of a machine be? Okay, since it makes our work so much more easy, so therefore, we also should take care of our simple machines. Now, if we do not take care of our machines, it will be something like this. Alright, it will get old and rusty like this. Now, this axe, unless it is cleaned properly, it is not going to cut wood properly. Okay, so therefore, if it is clean and nice and shiny, okay, it would have easily cut through a wooden board or a wooden block. Okay, or a piece of wood, so to say. So remember, it is very important for us to keep our machines clean. We can do that by cleaning the surfaces, by lubricating the surfaces, okay, and you know, uh, to keep the surfaces of the machines free from rust, we can also paint the surfaces of the machines. With this class 6, we come to the end of the chapter, Simple Machines. Thank you.